you think about a $20 book, what it can offer a recipient, it could be two or three weeks of intellectual and emotional enjoyment. And even longer, some books are so poignant that it lasts a lifetime. Traveling by page, word, and letter, stories wedge themselves inside of you to be carried about for a day or a lifetime. But this can only happen if the right book is pulled from a shelf. You need to find out exactly what they're after. And that's why independent bookstores like Whistler's Armchair Books is so important in our world of cyberspace book buying. Readers need personal one-on-one -on -one time with literary experts like Dan Ellis to keep them on the right reading track. We're passing on our love of literature. We're in it for the books. When Whistler Village was a little more than a molehill with a single hotel, a few shops and grocery store, Dan's mother Hazel opened a 300 square foot bookstore, which has now grown to 1,200 square feet under the management of her son, two decades later. It's a general bookstore. We have a little bit of everything. Uh, I would say our forte is in fiction, contemporary fiction. But we have classics, we have travel books, we have adventure, we have cookbooks, we have children's books. We cover all the bases. We've got an international sort of clientele. We have people who are educated and affluent. We have people who are high energy adventurous. So we need to cater to all those needs. And it's a juggling act and it's lots of fun. We always try and promote Canadian fiction. Dan carries the bookstore catalog around in his head customer cue given, book ideas eagerly jump to mind. When not chasing his two children, he's got a book in hand or he's listening to an audiobook on his daily commute from Squamish to Whistler. I wish I was a faster reader. I read as much as I can so I can offer to customers some expertise on various genres, not just, you know, mysteries or contemporary fiction. It's got to be well-rounded, so I read a lot. So my husband is very much into the outdoors now. So when I was looking for an adventure book for my outdoor enthusiast of a husband, Dan took me to the non-fiction section. This is um, Wade Davis's newest, and it's called Into the Silence. This is a book about Mallory and his quest to summit Everest. Not into mountaineering, I was about to dismiss, but then it happened. But at the same time, he's laying out the the background of World War One, which is happening at the same time. So now my husband's a total World War history right. buff. So a personal recommendation as intimate as its history. surroundings. A trip to armchair books isn't an errand, but instead an experience. And thanks to Dan's expertise on books and people, this story promises a happy ending. From Whistler, I'm Nicole Fitzgerald for Thank Shaw you. TV. Good to see you. Bye. Bye.